After playing this game for over 500 hours, I've come to learn that if you get better as an archer and learn archery technique, you actually get better at the game. Obviously, they used an archer for the development of this game because it seems to reward good technique. And here is one of those techniques that I think is probably one of the best. Anyway, search YouTube, learn archery, and believe it or not, you'll get better in this game. All right, keep on keeping on. Here it is. Here, the draw length is growing steadily and continuously towards release. On one side, you have the bow hand which is holding steady because it is resisting the ever-increasing closing force of the bow by providing a proportionate counterforce. On the other side, you have the draw hand moving back steadily in a straight line. It could be a rate of 1 mm per second, 2 mm per second, or whatever it is, so long as it's not a sudden jerk or acceleration, and so long as you're avoiding forward collapse. Steady expansion happens because the opening force of the archer is consistently greater than the closing force of the bow. The draw hand will be able to exit the string in a straight line, or mostly straight line, because of that continuous and steady effort. Let's review what makes the abrupt and collapsing releases unforgiving, and the expanding release forgiving. The problem with the abrupt and the collapsing release is that there's this period where you're just holding the draw before release. All right, and with the abrupt release, you know, there's a sudden jerk. And if you're lucky, you can release straight back, but more often than not, it's gonna go off in some other direction, right? Your hand's either gonna go here, 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 here. Um, and it, also it could yank your bow hand off axis as well, right? With that sudden acceleration there. Um, similarly with the collapsing release, you're holding it. And because there's that little hesitation, your draw hand is gonna kind of exit, you know, here, here, forward, up, down, to the side, it's gonna throw the shot off. And you know there's a possibility that also that bow hand will collapse in the process as well. With the expanding release, you're maintaining a consistently positive force vector because the archer's opening force is consistently greater than the bow's closing force. As a result, during the release, the set of directions that the draw hand can go is much reduced compared to an abrupt release or a collapsing release. I mean, that's just physics, that's just Newton's law. What I tell my students is that an expanding release is more forgiving because it reduces the possible set of exit paths for the draw hand. Stronger expansion leads to tighter error tolerance, leads to better precision. 